come out here and everybody comes to show you love and they respect you so much in the city. You gotta love it. You gotta love it because you wouldn't expect it when you get it. So I feel real good about it and I'm, I'm thankful. But what is your secret to success and maintaining longevity in this industry? Because you've been in this industry since you was a teenager. I mean, it's simple for me. You don't work, you don't eat. You don't work, you don't eat. So if you stop, then you gotta start doing something else. It's too late to start doing something else 20 years later. So I gotta do my thing like the way I've been doing it for the last two decades. Definitely. Now, I was talking a little flip earlier, and he was talking about when y'all go into the studio and work, it's not even work for y'all. Y'all just collab, like, just so easy. It is easy. I mean, when you got the king of the ghetto and the freestyle king, like, what's gonna be hard? I mean, it's easy. I mean, for real. What kind of love do you get when you go outside of Texas and into these other places like New York and LA where the sound is so not the sound? I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's not as strong as it is here. And I ain't gonna lie, some places are stronger. Because you gotta understand that places that you're not every day, you're gonna be much bigger of a deal. I mean, but to still get this level of recognition in the city is awesome. You know, it's uh, because usually when you get home, people are like, ah, oh, man, I can just see him when I go to the store. So it ain't nothing big about seeing him, but I guess it's still a little something, so I'm thankful for that also. Now I have to ask you, you've branded yourself and you've branched out. You didn't just stick to music. Tell me, what else are you going to add to the Zero brand? I mean, I can't really let y'all know right now, but if y'all stay tuned, you're going to see it. Definitely. Well, we appreciate you. Happy birthday and many more blessings. Thank you. Appreciate it.